Blur. Good morning, I'm Alicia Dixon on today's show. Beckham's retired from football. We'll be crossing live to LA to find out how America's reacted to the news. Also on the programme, Kate Garraway standing by in Cannes. I've got Harry Potter star Emma Watson on the premiere of her new movie. I've got British music legend Brian Ferry. And I've got a new movie star that you might just have heard of, Alicia. I'll not say anything more now. See you in a bit. In 20 minutes, we'll be bringing some A-list glamour to the studio. Find how you can pick up a dress like Emma Watson's or a skirt like Cheryl Cole's from the British High Street. And it's the big battle of the soaps this weekend. Emmerdale stars Alicia and David, that's Natalie Anderson and Matthew Wolfenden, will be joining us live from the Woolpack at 10 past nine. First, Dan Wooten's here with all the top showbiz stories we're going to be reading about this weekend. Hi, Dan. Good morning. Early start for you. How are you coping? Oh, I haven't done this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good fun. How have you been? Great to have you here. Really good, actually. And I was at Wembley yesterday morning, actually, with One Direction. Amazing. Because they have just announced, believe it or not, after only three years in the industry, an international stadium tour. Wow. So forget the arenas now. They're going to be performing at stadiums next May and June. Actually, starting in South America, then moving on to the UK and Ireland. Now, the key date that we all need to know, yeah. if you're a directioner at least, which we yeah. all are, yeah. is May the 25th, because that's when the tickets are going to be on sale. Okay. Apparently a million people in the UK alone wow. are going to be trying to get them. That is crazy. So clear that morning. That is crazy. Now, it's all changed for Brand Beckham. <laughs> That's right. Of course, we got that shock news, didn't we, yesterday, that David yes. Beckham bowing out from football, even though he had been offered another year's contract. But I think what we're all really interested in is what this is going to mean for the family. Yes. Of course, Victoria came out yesterday and said she's very excited about the new adventures that she's going to be able to have with mm -hmm. David and her kids. Mm -hmm. And already there's quite a bit of speculation that this could mean that the family might be moving back to Los Angeles or at least America okay. because of course Victoria now is wearing the pants she's <laughs> potentially going to be the main breadwinner yes. obviously she has this very successful fashion business now and I reckon you could see Bex actually being a bit of a stay-at-home dad over the next couple of years because Aww. obviously they've got the little ones he's a great they? dad he's a great dad now what else will we be reading about this weekend well I have to say David Williams did you see this he made me laugh when it came to David Beckham because he tweeted yesterday I am sad that David Beckham is retiring from professional football as he is the only footballer I can name <laughs> which I have to say that's sort of how I feel really? and I think we'd much rather be talking about BGT just a little show <laughs> that you have something to do with I Alicia. Certainly do. So of course we've got I think it's second to last um, audition show yes. tomorrow night. Yes. Now what I really want to know is your favourites can you tell us? Well I can't be too I don't want to have any favourites I mean I, okay, that's I, there's fair a enough. few that I love but I, I want to stay impartial. Well can I tell you mine yes, and you try can. and force my opinion onto yes. you? So who I'm absolutely loving so far this year is Francine Lewis. I thought Amazing. her impressions were absolutely hilarious. Amazing. And she just brings something really different to the oh, show. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, also so I fun. love Alice Fredenham, who <laughs> I met at the weekend actually. And this girl just has complete superstar Beautiful. potential. Inexplicably, mm. the coaches on The Voice didn't turn around for him. Oh, well, What's they're lost our game. Exactly. <laughs> but interestingly, the bookies' favourites still remain those Hungarian shadow dancers. Attraction, actually. They were in the first audition show, still right up there. Now, could it be changed by, I would say, I don't know if you agree, one of the most bizarre auditions so far of the series? Let's mm -hmm. take a look at the high divers. OK. <laughs> My goodness, Incredible. what was going through your mind? How cold it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I he was, wasn't cold. I was terrified for them. It was so scary, but amazing. And let's definitely not try that one at home. Exactly. Um, exactly. Now, of course, following Britain's Got Talent on Saturday night, one of my favourite showbiz yes. events of the year, Eurovision, of course, it's yes. camp, it's flamboyant. But let's not get our hopes up for a British victory. As much as Bonnie Tyler might be a legend, I'm afraid to say, <laughs> her Believe in Me um, UK entry is a bit of a turn.
Turkey. She's 40 to 1 to win, but 8 to 1 to lose. So it's not going to be hard for her to beat um, Engelbert Humperdinck, is it? He was our <laughs> entry last year and only came second to last. Yeah. But let's be honest, we love Eurovision because of the camp and quirky acts yes. from Europe. Yes. My pick of them actually is the Ukraine act. Take a look at this. It's this tiny little singer called Zlata who is carried on stage by America's tallest man. He is seven feet. Oh, eight wow. Eight. So there's some bizarre highlights like that. But I do have to say, Alicia, don't you think we are ready for the UK to enter a very contemporary, maybe dance-focused person into I Eurovision. So. I think so. Could it be you next year? I don't know about that. <laughs> Would you ever do it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You're setting yourself up for failure probably for the poor people who do. <laughs> but I do wish her lots of luck. I mean look, now, good luck Bonnie. Yeah. I would love her to win. Exactly. I just don't think it's going to happen. All right, well fingers crossed. What else have we got coming up? Well actually there's another Alicia in town this week. Take a look at my show was extra. Biggest and brightest stars in the soap world put on their glad rags and come out to play for the annual British Soap Awards on ITV this Sunday. But who will walk away with the coveted gongs? Only time will tell. Let battle commence. Now, if you're planning on staying in this weekend, there's lots on the box. Harry Potter favourite Daniel Radcliffe will be on Graham Norton tonight. That's going straight to DVD. <laughs> And all good things must come to an end with the series finale of Doctor Who tomorrow. And it's set to be an emotional one. Doctor. Sorry. I know it was transfer or it was definitely transfer. Yeah. If you fancy hitting the big screen, the much-anticipated remake of The Great Gatsby is out in cinemas now, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Carey Mulligan. Is all this made entirely from your own imagination? No. See, you were there all along. And finally, one of music's biggest names arrives on our shores this weekend. Alicia Keys will set the stage on fire for the UK leg of her world tour, which kicks off in Liverpool tomorrow night. All looks amazing. Really looking forward to it. Now, Ross has joined us from LA. Ross. What? Morning, Alicia. Lovely to see you there. Hi, Dan. Hey. Hi. How are you? We've got. I'm great. We've got so much coming up. Okay, ladies, you like this? We got Beckham. We've got Butler. If there's some lads hanging around watching, we've got Adam Sandler for you too. And also, a Hollywood superstar heartthrob actually decided, in a pathetic attempt to chat up a girl, he would be me. I have the video evidence and exclusive right here for you, Alicia. Fantastic. Look forward to it, Ross. <laughs> now, as always, we want to know what you think. Will you be watching Eurovision this weekend? Do you think it's still a relevant date in the music calendar? And what's your favourite Eurovision song of all time? What's yours, Dan? I have to say, cast your mind back, 1974. It's got to be ABBA, Waterloo. Classic. One. And it was here. Invited. Classic. I think, you know... Mine would have to be blue, you know. I okay, only a couple love of the years blue back. Boys. Yeah, it was a good song. And I was really rooting for them. Well, they did better than most of our UK Exactly. <laughs> but there were no Gemini, put it that way. Exactly. <laughs> Now, I'd love to know your favourite. You can message us on Facebook. You can also tell us on Twitter. Or if you're over 18, you can text us on 67890. It will cost 25 pence plus your standard network charge. This week, we have a massive prize draw with £75,000 cash to be won and a BMW. Connie Huck has all the details. Follows a pilot scheme in nine areas of England. It's intended to free up magistrates' courts to deal with more serious cases. Just creeping up to one minute past nine. Those are the news headlines. Now back to Alicia. Now, I'm very excited about this part of the programme. James Tanner's here. What are we making? I'm excited. Well, Alicia, I know you're a vegetarian. I am. So I've got one of my vegetarian favourites. It's aubergine parmigiana. Sounds fantastic. Have, have you ever had it before? Can I tell you the truth? Yeah. I had a photo shoot yesterday and we had it for lunch, but I said, I bet James's is going to be better. My one will be. <laughs> okay. Right, well, I'm going to make this one really special okay, now. No pressure. Okay, so aubergine parmigiana. Obviously, yes. the base of it is going to be our aubergines. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously, Don't we've, we've got one look here. Good. I, I, I think they're lovely. I love the look no, of an no, aubergine, as random as that is. I, I know it sounds weird, but they add a meaty texture mm -hmm. uh, because of the density of it as well. Me and the girls were saying upstairs that. 
everyone loves aubergines, but I don't know many people that cook them. I mean, I love them, but I've never actually made a dish with them myself. So okay. I want to see an easy way of doing no, it. No, cool. I mean, like, like you said, you know, great on colour as well, and mm. you know, really think and like a, a good feel to them. Feels like a dolphin, you said. <laughs> you gave away my line, Alicia. <laughs> I said that to my daughter. You go swim with dolphins. Sounds weird. You go swim with dolphins. You think of aubergines. Feel the skin. Feel the skin. Feels like a dolphin. I know, a bit random. Anyway, Very Alicia, good. come on, chef. Okay. Can you brush that of oil for me? Yes. So we sliced it, but there's a reason why I've left off the outsides on the ends. Okay. It can turn bitter, can be a bit hard to digest right. as well. Okay, so I find just a little bit of skin is fantastic. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, right, I'm going to quickly turn these over. Do you want to give them another go on the other side? Yes. We're heating up I a child. I have. I have. All right, chef. <laughs> get, get brushing. Right, <laughs> so we've, we've heated up a, uh, a char grill pan on the hob. Yeah. Um, I find this is quite a, a good way of cooking this because aubergine's like a sponge. It okay. soaks in that oil so if you do it in a pan it's going to take more oil lay it nice. away from yourself yes i've got some pre-done because i'm not gonna lie they take about three to four minutes each side yeah, to cook off, all right right while they're doing their thing and cooking let's talk about the base sauce for this okay, okay. so here i've got a shallot Okay. Love a shallot. As you, like, well. you like a shallot? Yes. Right, great. This is banana shallot. These are longer shallots. I'm just slicing down mm -hmm. then across okay and then we're going to rock that knife and do a nice fine dice okay very nice. Okay, so that's exactly how you chop it at home, isn't it? No. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you cook a lot at home? I love cooking. What's my your, what's my your little brother's dish? a chef, is so he, he is, is he? an amazing cook. So oh, compared cool. to him, I'm not very good. But I like cooking Jamaican food. I love hot food. You like a bit of spice? The spicier the better. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Well, this sauce base, I wouldn't say it's spicy, but it's definitely got a different taste to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So here we go. Look, we've got um, some shallot in there. We've got some garlic in there. Can't, and can never have enough garlic, but everyone has to be eating it, of we, course. We've got <laughs> some tomato puree as well. Right. It's quite important. In an ideal world, I'd like to cook this tomato puree out so uh -huh. it's not too harsh. OK. But what we are going to do is we're going to add a bit of sherry vinegar to it as well. Okey to the sauce base. And then also, going to get a bit weird here, we're going to add some tinned tomatoes and some cinnamon. But I love cinnamon. And yeah. it's really good for your metabolism, cinnamon. There you go, yeah. Digest it well. So look, look at this, it just will slowly cook down. The idea is you add only a little bit of the juice. Yes. A bit of thyme goes in there as well. Love fresh thyme as yep. well. Yep, and we just leave it to do its thing and cook down for do a good ten thing. minutes. Now, okay. it's going to look like that after ten minutes, all right? Nice. After it's all cooked down. We've got some aubergine stand up. Here's some I made earlier. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this before. Always wanted right. to say that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so look at this. We give it... Yeah. A good bit of the uh, tomato sauce base. Lovely. We go in there with the aubergine slices as well. Also, we've got some lovely uh, mozzarella cheese. Love mozzarella. Ready to go, but before that, this is my twist. Go on. We go some onion chutney. Oh, lovely. Random pieces. Doesn't have to be neat at all. So it doesn't matter what order no, you No, not... Well, it... Uh, it all goes down the same down. hole, uh, doesn't uh, it? <laughs> it yeah, it goes in the same mouthful. There we go. <laughs> OK, touch, touch of basil. Touch yep. of basil goes on there as well. Lovely. Really simple. And then also, we just repeat the these layers, OK? Gorgeous. So, so a little bit more there. And then, again, the same thing going on there. Yep. Now, tiny, it's actually really tiny easy bit more. To it do. is. It's not hard. But this is something you could have done up in your fridge. Yeah. All good to go. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Guests come around, bung in the oven 25 minutes. Yeah. All we do is next. Here. Parmesan, Parmesan cheese, or if you're a vegetarian, have an Italian substitute cheese that contains no rennet. Okey doke. Panko breadcrumbs. Give it a good old swizzle up the top. It's quite part healthy, part. Yes. Part not. Yeah, I think it's the good. The cheese is obviously a little, no, but who cares? It's, it's a little bit, yeah. In the <laughs> it's oven. Gorgeous. In the oven, 20 to 25 minutes later. Here we go. Gonna get a good old spoonful of this out. Let's this is why there. I agreed to do the show, just so I could taste the food. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Well, I'd like joking. to see. I'd like to see what you think. But look, okay, a good old portion of that there. Can I take well, a doggy bag home? You, you grab a fork and give that a go. And while you do that, I've got a bit of um, some avocado here, some lemon, some olive oil, a bit of lettuce goes on the side, a little sprinkle of that over the top. Mm, so, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Really beautiful. Is it better than the one you had Smashed yesterday? It. Smashed it. Smashed it. I smashed it. <laughs> I'm loving it. For today's recipe, you can log on to our website, itv.com slash Lorraine. After the break, how has Hollywood reacted to the news that Beckham's quit football? We'll be crossing over to LA to find out. And Soapland's getting excited as they do battle this weekend. Emmerdale's Alicia and David, that's Natalie Anderson and Matthew Wolfenden, will be telling us all about that. See you in just a few minutes.